<laughs> hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry M. Just doing some grunt work today. Uh, front right tire on my Rodimus Prime has always leaked. I've fixed it a million times, but I think it's the valve. So here's the Rodimus Prime. I recently got it back up and running again. Uh, tires are just dunsky, you know, they're no good. Uh, I've got a couple of tubes in the rear ones. They seem to hold up okay uh, after you, you know, use it for a season because they're all dry rotted and stuff. But I haven't been able to find a tire that's like that. Um, not the tire, the wheel. Because it's, if you notice, it's a four lug kind of hub, you know, um, wheel. So. It's the only one I have, so the only way I could probably fix this is either put another tube in there or replace the tire on it, which is a pain in the ass, because I definitely don't have that kind of rim. But uh, it seems to be holding up all right now. But this one over here is always giving me problems. Uh, you would pump it up. As you can see, it's dry rotted and stuff. Um, I think I should just put a tube in there, but I don't have any more. But I think one of the major reasons why it always messes up is because of this. While I was grinding the hub to get this 8-inch rim on the front. Remember, the fronts on lawn tractors are usually 6-inch rims. But I put a bigger wheel on here. I could simply just put a 6-inch uh, you know, wheel on there, but I like it better. Anyway... From the grinding, the valve is kind of damaged. I think that might be the one of the uh, reasons why it lo loses air out of there. So I'm gonna try to uh, take the valve out and put a new valve in. And then what I couldn't see after it's inflated was that this was dry rotted also and that air was leaking out the cracks on the sidewalls. So I put some ATF in there, right? And it seems to help a little, but it's still leaking, you know? So I said, screw that. I went back into the shed to look for some more tires and I actually found the matching John Deere one, which fits perfectly. And they're both good, you know? Uh, they've been holding air for years in that shed. I didn't have to put in any air. So these are two perfectly good uh, wheels on there and yellow, so it matches perfectly. So finally, uh, while I like the bigger wheels on the front, you know, what are you gonna do? Uh, then I found this in the uh, shed too. This is a rear wheel for a Poulon Pro Tractor. Uh, I think it was like a 12.5, 38 or something, you know, a smaller tractor, but it has really cool eight inch wheels, but really tiny in the back, you know? So I figured I'll put this in the front, but um, the hub is such where it's so wide, I would have to cut this part off. So I don't want to waste it and put it on here and this is fine. But uh, just a quick video on, I record everything, you know what I mean? And uh, it's not a major fix, but uh, for the layperson out there who thinks it's hard to change tractor tires, it's very easy, you know what I mean? 
especially with this MTD model. It is a yard man, it has a yard machines hood on it, but it's a yard man, it's an MTD, you know what I mean? Um, and this is a four wheel steering tractor, which is so cool, you know, so cool. Um, and so it's, it's really easy with the MTDs. Their, their hub for the fronts and the backs are, are very narrow, very small. Uh, also with the rears on MTDs, it's not a completely perfect circle. It's almost like a rectangle that's rounded on the ends, you know? It's very unique and it only accepts those hubs, you know? So be careful if you guys have MTDs and you go out and buy other rear wheels for them, like maybe for a Craftsman, it won't fit on your thing because the rear transmission transaxle uh, axle is not round, it's square, rectangle, you know? Some of you guys know that already, but uh, if you don't know that, now you know. So you have to be careful if you have an MTD tractor. Got to be extremely careful with the rear wheels because it's uh, the shaft is not round, it's, it's rectangle. Uh, fronts are very narrow, so only MTD stuff fits on here. I don't know why these uh, John Deere's fit on here. Was it a John Deere? I'm not even sure. But anyway, we got some uh, brand new, uh, t new to me, <laughs> tires on here that hold air from my Rodimus Prime. So no more problems on always pumping up the tires for this because it's such a pain in the rear, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, just a quick fix in the backyard. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blows. The UPS guy screwed this up. I'm gonna see you guys next time on Mars.